You're about to watch a video clip from a podcast that I co-host called 115 Miles. You can find the links to the full episode in the comments below. And if you want to learn about being a highly sensitive person from addiction through to recovering from trauma and all things to do with emotional health, then please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and you've turned on the notifications so you know each and every time I post a video. You've often talked about, we've talked about, but you know, you've talked about it quite, um, quite a lot about the notion of reaching in mm. instead of expecting people to reach out. So, you know, a lot of people say, well, look, if they need me, they'll, you know, you know where I am. Yeah. Reach out to me. Yeah. yeah. And, and, but people don't. So uh, how can people reach in? In, in the current situation that we're talking about on, on yeah. Zoom calls and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I do think like one thing that you have to be aware of is not, not, not pressuring right so don't you know don't you don't make it like it becomes your duty to make sure that you fix this person because then you're going into fixing territory fixing is about you right supporting and and reaching in is about creating creating that space and sometimes i think that you know far from the comment that you said of you know where i am and you even did you know for the purpose of people listening you you lifted your arms up in a kind of backing away motion, right? To really kind of show where that, you know, where I am is. Everybody knows what you mean when you say, you know, where I am, right? So creating that space and becoming comfortable in the way that we feel when we create that space. So by that, I mean, becoming comfortable with an awkward silence, but knowing that there's a lot to be heard in silence. So if I say to you, has like, I just want to, I hope you don't mind, but I just want to let you know that I've noticed a couple of things right on our last few calls, right? And I just want to let you know that genuinely I'm here. And if you feel like it's something that you like to talk or share about, then I want to give you that opportunity. And I've purposely left that silence. And when I left that silence, I felt a tingle go up in my body. Fuck, this is awkward. <laughs> right? It's silent. He's just looking at me, right? And you have to, when you're creating space for me, you have to listen to that. Because the reason so often that we come in and say, I might go has, and I'm creating this space for you. And I start feeling all awkward in that silence. And you you as the, the, the person I'm trying to create space for might be go in your head going, tell him, just tell him, just tell him. And then because I'm too awkward with the silence, I might go, but just know, mate, I think you're quality, all right? So I don't, you know, don't, I don't want you to worry. And that's because I'm trying to get the levels back up for me because I can't deal with that, that silence. So sometimes it is about, well, not sometimes, nearly all the time, holding space for somebody is about the way you manage and regulate your own emotions so that you can create that space. And that's not easy because silence can be difficult and there's so much power to come out of silence not just in the words and the sounds that come out of it, but in the silence.